Alright, hello everyone. Let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Like I said in the wow, what a, like I said in the previous episode, uh you are gonna get attacked immediately, so you wanna just get moving right away. But I'm surprised I got a one-up right there. Maybe that's a uh, good importance for the future. That's the right word. Anyway. Hello everyone and welcome back to Mega Man. In the previous episode we took down stages two and three, and now we're moving on to stage four. The final stage. Uh, right here, you have to worry about these bombers, and you want to use specifically your rolling cutter. Okay. Now, uh, one more. Now, you can't hear it because of the audio glitch that you probably noticed back in Gusman stage, but there's that platform that moves back and forth, and you have to worry about the part where it drops right off. So, you can, do, you can worry about that, or you can just use your Magnet Beam, which you have to have by this point. And right below us is another 1-Up, which you may or may not want. And over there, right next to it, is something called the Yaishishi, I believe it's pronounced. What it will do is it will completely restore your health and weapon energy, all of your weapon energy. And why you want that? Well, you may want that because right here is four Robot Masters, one right after another, starting with Bomb Man. Honestly, I feel like this is a terrible section. Like, not even necessarily hard, just like poor design in my opinion. Like, you get you don't get anything to restore you in between these four rematches. You just have to get through them all. Anyway, next is Fireman, and you want to use your Ice Slasher. Uh, with Fireman, he always counterattacks you. But you see how crazy his counter his attack can be if you counterattack. He did like five shots in a row right there. Anyway. Uh next is Iceman. You want to use the Elect Beam. Iceman can be the easiest, but he can also be the hardest because his ice shots, I think I failed to mention, but his ice shots do like 10 damage to you, which is a ridiculous amount of health. But last but not least is Gutsman. Gutsman. What you want to do is, when he lands, is when you want to jump, because then... Oh, God. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat there. Please! Oh, my God. Okay. Luckily, I did it on my first try, and I have four lives. Now, then, what is your reward for doing four Robot Masters in a row? It's weapon energy! Yeah, because after you lost all that health, maybe, that's what you definitely need. But no, uh, right behind this door is Dr. Wily, and it'll give you the weapon energy, so that way, if you lose, you're not necessarily... You don't necessarily have a dead game in the moment. But, uh, the final boss, Dr. Wily, is a two-phase fight, so in this first phase, you have to deal with this cannon, which, yeah, whatever. You have to deal with this cannon, which can be pretty annoying in this first phase, because, like, he starts off going towards you. But, uh, it's weak to the Firestorm, so you want to do that. Use that, rather. Do that. No. Luckily, I do have all these extra lives to spare, so I guess it's kind of on my side. It's just kind of like a... Not necessarily a matter, matter of time, but a more like a... So what he's going to do is send these energy, whirling energy balls at you. It's going to be pretty annoying to dodge. <clears throat> oh my god. Usually I'm better at avoiding them. Uh, another weapon you may want to use is the Rolling Cutters, um, when he's coming towards you, because the Rolling Cutters can get off, like, three hits on him, I think. Oh my god. I slid into the door. That's just how bad the sliding is. Honestly, I know people, like, gripe on the Yellow Devil, but honestly, I feel like this is the far worst part, but, like, for all the wrong reasons, in my opinion. Uh, be careful, because you can still get hit. Oh my god. And, like, nothing to do damage to him. It's ridiculous. But, 
but uh, the Elect Beam will do like two hits to Dr. Wily. And, but, please die. Oh, boy. Okay, that wasn't terrible. But yeah, that's the final boss. And with that, we finished Mega Man 1. Yeah, grovel at our feet, Dr. Wily. We have defeated you in combat. Oh. Ooh, excuse me. Had to have a victory belch, I guess. Oh yeah, so that reminds me of something. And the instruction manual? Uh, so the instruction manual, like I said before, it gives the name of all the enemies. Oh, hold on. Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to peace. Wait, why is the R lowercase? However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Translation? Look forward to the sequels. Fight, Mega Man, for an everlasting peace! Well, still 11 games in the series, so clearly we're still fighting. Anyway, so, as I was saying, and the instruction manual it gives the enemy names, and it'll say, like, it is found in this stage and that stage. What's weird is Dr. Wily is also listed in that booklet, and so it says Dr. Wily, it is found in the final stage. Like, wow, you guys were real jerks when it came to, uh, talk about Dr. Wily. Uh, well, anyway, uh, yeah, that's Mega Man. Uh, I guess now would be a good time to give my opinion of the game, though I've kind of said it before. Uh, I this is one of my favorite Mega Man entries, even though, like, it has a lot of, uh, problems that luckily gaming has left behind. I still feel like it's a really, really fun game. I don't know if I'll say it's a really good game, but I'll say it's a really fun game. Uh... Like, I have fun dealing with Yellow Devil, trying to figure it out and all that. Uh, I still feel like the last stage is a bit too much. Like, they just stand to have, like, one break at least. Um, other than that, uh... Um, yeah, I would say I, rec I could recommend this game to people. But still, just remember, this is a definitely a hard game. But yeah. Uh... That's that, and we should finally see what Dr. Light and Roll look like, even though they don't get named here, so it's like, basically it looks like Mega Man just kind of like randomly ran home to strangers, but anyway, that was Mega Man 1, like I said, uh, I have no idea when, if I'd be tackling any other entries in the Mega Man or Mega Man series or the Mega Man universe, but, uh, I guess I'll see you guys on whatever my next Let's Play is gonna be, thank you and have a nice day.